got the first positive ID on my dog ever. Um, he was ID'd second to third week in August and uh, was moved right before this news article. He's uh, just north and west of Fort Wayne, Indiana. It was the last place he's seen. And this is a lady that I've been suspecting since the first week of August. The vehicle matches everything that I've been told since the first week of August. This is a lady. The Noble County Sheriff's Department announces the arrest today of a 54-year-old Huntertown woman. Darlene Cervantes faces 26 counts of animal cruelty. Wayne 15's Rex Smith reports from Albion with an exclusive look at how dogs were forced to live. Inside this barn behind me on a property off of Baseline Road, 28 dogs were found, as well as two foxes and a raccoon. A serious case of animal neglect that has the property owner hoping that justice is properly served. I told her straight up before she even brought the first piece of anything out here that I didn't want to be part of no dog hoarding thing. Lawrence Kirsch says he recently allowed Darlene Cervantes, a co-worker, to live in her camper on his property. He saw it as a way to make some extra cash for updates to his home. Cervantes told him that she was a dog breeder and trainer. While showing us his property, he told us Cervantes was supposed to be limited to 12 dogs, but they kept seeing more and more. Soon after, they became concerned about some of the conditions the dogs were living in. Those five dogs that were in here, from the day they showed up on the property, they never got to come out of here. Five dogs were in that? Continuously. They never got to come out and run. They've never touched the grass. He says multiple dogs would be shoved in tiny crates with no room to move. Other dogs forced into crates when already locked inside horse stalls, and more were shoved away in a dark corner. When you saw that, what did you think? I thought, how can this woman think this is normal? The final straw, Kirsch called police when they found five puppies in a crate together and two of them were dead. The responding officer, Sergeant Deputy Whitney D'Angelo, telling us the conditions were deplorable. Most people, I think, can agree that animals are cute and adorable and we love them. So going into the property, I mean, these conditions were pretty horrific. They found the dogs living in their own feces, and there wasn't enough food or water there to sustain all the animals. Two other puppies were taken for emergency treatment, and one of them did not make it. It hurts to know that there was going to be more had we not opened our eyes and said enough is enough. Kirsch says that so long as Cervantes faces the proper punishment, he'll be satisfied. What's justice in his eyes? She needs to be put in jail for several years, have a felony on her background, and banned from ever owning any animals. Kirsch tells me that people warned him about Cervantes, but he just did not listen. He says if he ever rents out part of his property again, he'll do some pretty serious research on the person who is going to be living on his land. As for Cervantes, we're told she declined to provide a statement to the Noble County Sheriff's Department. A pretrial assessment was held in her case today. Online court records do not provide any information about a potential bond. In Noble County, Rex Smith. A person that's been on that property has seen multiple pictures of my dog and has identified he was there. You my duck. Hey, don't you get jealous. Don't you yar him. What? Come here. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Uh, don't you yar him. Ouch, you got me. Don't you wrinkle your nose. Don't you, don't you wrinkle your nose. Come here. Come here. Come here, Doc. You are you my buddy? Are you my buddy? Here she comes. I'm just trying to get you in trouble. Ah! Ooh, punch in the face! In the face! Come here, baby. Lucky, I'm petting Doc. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Ah, whoa. My babies. Wish you guys would find Doc. There's a $2,000 reward for Duck. If anybody's in the Fort Wayne area, north of Fort Wayne, west of Fort Wayne, watch this article, share it on social media, try to find my dog, there's $2,000 reward.